lot of curiosity what centers around history and astronomy and cosmology and all these other forms of science that study outer space seem to bring up some of the biggest mysteries that seem to revolve around our existence or origins of life, rather. Just, you know, everything in general, rather, is what I'm getting at. And one of those questions happens to be from a nearby planet. You know, one question I often see a lot of people ask is, what, what happened to Venus? You know, why is Venus the way it is? Like, why is it, br it's like a bright orange. Some people say it's brown, but it's really more bright orange. Like, what happened to Venus? Or, or yellowish? So, well, the colors that fit. What happened to Venus's atmosphere that made it what it was now? Now, here's one something that's really interesting before we get into this. And this is something else I'm going to make a video about, but this is something that's really interesting. You know, if you study, like, nearby planets, they all share, like, the same thing, because they're all, they were all created in, like, the same region. So, like, in other words, you could essentially say that all of our planets that are in our solar system, so, you know, the inner planets and then out, at one point were like Earth, or, to some degree, they have similarities, like hydrogen, oxygen, helium, you know, you'll find common elements, for example, because they're just there. Venus was a planet that's called, referred to Earth's sister. Now, much like Venus, Earth was obviously not the same. Venus was like Earth at one point because when it was forming, it actually kind of started out like Earth did, but what happened was the hydrogen actually faded away during its primary. This is like one of the first stages of its formation. And what happened was, I believe it's sulfuric acid, if I'm not mistaken, overtook the atmosphere. And essentially just, like, because sulfuric acid burns. It's really hot, it's really dangerous, obviously. And this whole atmosphere overtook its, you know, it's just a gassy storms and all that. It's crazy, like all these planetary storms are sulfuric acid and all these other, like, I, I don't know if it even ever rains on Venus. I'm not really sure. It's like a dry wasteland with like, like all these gases. So, in other words, you know, sulfuric acid burns so much, it generates heat. That heat is so hot, you can see Venus. It's like the brightest planet from Earth. And it's, the Venus is actually hotter than Mercury is when it's closest to the Earth. And keep in mind, Mercury is the first planet from the Sun, and Venus is the second, and Earth is third. So that should kind of shed a little bit of light, considering like some of the mysteries that Venus has, like sulfuric acid overtook Venus's primary evolutionary stage, and it became a. I mean, there's more to it than that, but that's kind of one of the major reasons why the climate explained why Venus became what it was. It's really debatable what it really would have looked like if none of these things ever would have happened to it.